so hello guys welcome back to the essie base you're new on this channel kindly subscribe and if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for tuning in today to watch me today god bless you for joining us today in another video so if you want to know what this video is about kindly be well stay tuned Welcome back to the Essie Base. My name is Ethel, also known as Akule Babs, as many people may call me. So uh, to begin, if, you've not, if you're not part of this family, please kindly join this family. 2021. Don't just walk away, just watch the video as well. Kindly be part of this family. Like the video comment down below we want you we want to get you guys involved into our videos so comment down below share with us what you want to see on our channel and also share our videos with your family and friends so what are we going to talk about today so as you may read from the topic of this video before you enter into a relationship you need to watch this all so in today's video i'm just going to share with you guys when it comes to relationship, books that I have personally read that has made a great impact in my life. Let's just get right into it. So, um, you know, when uh, you get into um, a certain age, I would not say 18 because once you become 18, you think you're an adult. So I'll just put it this way. When you are an adult, when you, when you become an adult, or when you enter into college, I'll put it that way. Uh, you know, and that's when the boyfriend and the girlfriend thing, you know, starts building up due to what you see around you or what you've been influenced based by probably by your peers or by your families or by anyone. It could be any person or it could be even the television. It could be anything. And uh, sometimes you might be, um, sometimes you might see most of the times your friends, you know, into, you know, <laughs> I don't want to, you know, say the full word, but if you're into college or if you're young out there, well, anyone knows this, some of your friends might do what? Make you see the things that they do. And what could that be? PDA. Mm. You know what PDA is? Mm? Can you tell me what PDA is? I'm just going to leave the full word under this video. You know what that is. Anyway, so you get pressured by your friends and uh, people around you to, you know, also try it because you'll be tempted to, you know, uh, enter into a relationship that will probably end up in a, making you um, making you make poor decisions and also ending up having a broken heart and so on and so forth. So this whole video, this whole video is to direct you or to some books that I personally read that will also help you to make a good impact in your lives and also to, um, I mean, to form a healthy ideology. So to begin, the first book that I want to share with you guys is Things I Wish I Knew Before I Got Married, which is by Gary Chapman. This guy, I don't know, but I wish I could meet him in person. So he, I, he's got these two books that I really love. I do not have the other one, which is The Five Languages. Yeah. If you're in a relationship or you want to enter into a relationship, you need to add that book also on top of what I'm going to show you in this video. So Things I Wish I Knew before i got married you need to read this book i don't want to tell you what is in this book because if not it will not make sense for you to even understand or wouldn't be fair hmm? wouldn't be fair so you need to read this one so things let me just pop. can you see oh my god wait i don't know if you can see ah oh. well yeah so things i wish i knew before i got married and also the five languages you need to read that also, I've got here for my sisters, love lessons for my sisters, how to find and keep all the love you deserve. And this is by Natasha Munson. So you need to read this as well. Also, this book is Rules for Single Ladies. It talks about relationship, marriage, dating, love, 
personal success, time tested secrets, and a whole lot. So if you're a woman out there, if you're a girl, or even this is also, I would say for boys as well, because when they read it, they also get informed just so they don't go, you know, more treating and hurting people's daughters. Mm -hmm. So you need to read this as well, which is by jo Praise George. Yeah. And also the next one. Yay! Who is ready to know? Everyone knows this man. If you don't know this one, then I don't know where you come from. Hey! So this book was written by my very own father, Stephen Harvey. So the title of the book is Act Like a Lady, Think Like a Man. Yeah? I don't know if you can see it, but oh my god, this is this light is not doing me justice today. Yeah, so act like a lady, think like a man. You need this as well. The next book is by Elizabeth George. So um, the title of this book is Woman After God's Heart. You need this as well, Woman After God's Heart. Also, Becoming Proverbs 31 Woman. And this is by Tiffany Langford. Becoming the Proverbs 31 Woman. And the last but not the least is life lessons for my sisters so this is another book by natasha munson so how to make wise choices and live a life you love so i'm just going to pop up because my light is not doing me justice today i'm just going to pop up somewhere here or here for you guys to you know see the cover of the book so this is the end of the video, I would say, right? So the little I can say before I end this video is make sure that your expectations determine your reality. Don't try to fix anyone. You are not God. Love yourself first. You are what you believe. And also do remember to pray about yourself, pray about your relationship, about your husband-to-be, your future husband-to-be, and also your children to be born. And always believe in the process of God. When you ask God for something, make sure it is extremely important to listen to the voice of God. Don't listen to yourself, uh, your heart or whatsoever. Listen to the voice of God. It's very important. God bless you and I hope to see you in another video. It's bye for now. Ciao.